Cloth is one of a series of four short films, each featuring a craftsperson demonstrating a skill from the medieval period. Each film is named for the material in use – wood, dye, cloth and leather. The films have been produced for Hull and East Riding Museum, made possible through funding from Arts Council England. In each film, the craftsperson is working outdoors in a small tent, the interior of which has been patterned as cream brickwork, decorated with a flower motif in brown. A small arched window has been painted on the left rear wall, with a view of clouds against a blue sky. The craftsperson's tools are laid out on a long wooden bench on the right of the tent. The front of the tent is held open with tasseled ropes. The craftsperson featured here is Alison, a woman in her fifties, of medium height with a round face. Her hair is hidden under a white wimple cap with a rolled brim. She wears a simple grey woolen dress with a laced bodice over a white linen blouse. She has a leather belt around her waist and a white apron covering her skirt. Medieval Wool Preparation Combing, Carding and Spinning A fluffy tangle of undyed fleeces spills out of a white linen sack. Alison has two types of fleece here. One of them has long fibres known as staple and is suited to make a smooth worsted yarn. Worsted is made by combing the wool. Alison takes a handful of wool and places it on one comb. The comb looks like a small rake with a wooden handle and metal teeth about five inches long at right angles to it. Alison takes another comb and holding one in each hand uses it to pull the wool from the first using a series of downward strokes. This is called jigging. Eventually, the fine strands of wool pile up on the teeth of the second comb. Once they have all transferred, Alison reverses the movement, using the first comb to pull the wool upwards. This is repeated, the wool fluffing and expanding into a downy cloud between the teeth. Alison puts the full comb down, teeth upwards on the table, and takes hold of a fistful of wool. She slowly pulls it away from the comb, creating a long, continuous bundle of fibres known as a sleever, all the strands lying in the same direction. She loosely twists it as it comes away to ensure it does not fall apart. The other method of preparing the fleeces is carding. Alison holds a pair of square wooden paddles. They look like large flat hairbrushes. A hunk of wool is placed on the metal bristles of one carder and the other is dragged repeatedly across the top, stretching the wool out between them. This creates a web of fibres crossing over each other. The sleever from the combed wool is wound around the end of a distaff, a long wooden pole. Alison wears the distaff tucked into the side of her apron and cradled against her shoulder, with the wool at the top. A spindle, a long wooden pin with a circular base, hangs from the end of the fibres. As Alison teases them out, she sets the spindle spinning, and the motion winds the wool into a tight thread. As the yarn gets longer, the spindle lowers to the ground. Alison picks it up, winds the new thread onto the spindle, ties a loose knot around the pin, and sets it spinning once more. The spindle and distaff are portable, and women of the period would do this all day, carrying the work with them as they moved between other tasks. Once the spindle is full, Alison takes it off and starts to wind it onto a skein winder, a short wooden pole with two cross pieces lying perpendicular to each other. This creates a long loop of yarn, which Alison unhitches from the skein winder and gently twists. It will not be wound into a ball yet, as this will stretch the yarn. Alison's fingers work the yarn into a loose knot and she lays the finished skein on the table.